Hello Tauruses and welcome to Deku Tarot. I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading for May 13th through the 19th of 2019. Um, alrighty guys, thank you so so much Tauruses for all your support. You continue to be my, um, my my biggest group honestly that shows up that gets readings that um participates that watches here on the channel so thank you guys so so much um for all of your support thank you to all of my subscribers thank you guys so much for sharing the videos the way you guys do it really does help the channel and i really do appreciate all those shares okay guys so um if you haven't please make sure to um like share to subscribe definitely to the channel hit that little wiggly bell and it'll notify you whenever i'm going live or posting up videos um, and Tauruses, um, I feel like you guys just went through a really tough week. I don't know about you guys, but it was a weird week. I feel like for Tauruses, um, I don't know. I just felt like things were really intense. A lot of people were bugging out. Um, <laughs> the energy was pretty low at some points, but I think that that pushed us, um, that that kind of helped us kind of push through here to, you know, even some things that we were kind of confronting on that new moon in Taurus. So um, let me know in the comments below how that past week was for you. There was some really heavy energy last week, so I know. Um, all right, Taurus, it's for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It cannot and it will not resonate with all of you, as you guys know. Um, there's, it's just not possible. I can pick up on all of your stories and situations. Um, so it's important to check out your other placements. You might resonate better with them. And again, if it doesn't resonate with you, don't take it. It's not your story, and that's okay. That's so why we have other placements to check. Um, and again, it's important to remember that we're not just our sun sign. So Tauruses, this week let's talk about um, what's going to be happening or coming in in terms of career and regular general life here. General life and career for you guys. We're going to use the Gustav Klimt deck here. Alrighty, Tauruses. First, we get Four of Swords reversed. So there is this impatience um, in terms of manifesting, in terms of getting what we want to. It also is really showing up here that you guys are not getting enough rest. Um, it's really weird. Taurus season, I feel like there's a lot of signs that are not resting, that are either dealing with insomnia or um, I don't know if it's all the, the retrogrades this season. I mean, I'm sure an astrologer like Gregory Scott um, can probably help you <laughs> see what the heck's going on in terms of astrology this month, but... Um, it's definitely pushing us to our limits, making us feel exhausted, making us feel frustrated here. Um, and it's really causing us to maybe not feel like we have enough time to rest or we might be so stressed out by things going on. I wanted to push forward in certain areas that we are experiencing um, a lack of sleep here. And we have the Ten of Cups though, which is incredible. Love it. Love this card. I mean, look at they're all dancing. They're having a good time. Let me zoom in on that a little bit. There you guys go, but um, let's get some more cards out here before we even get into it anymore. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, career, general life. I always feel like it's like a 70s, like, disco type party or something like that going on. Like, they're at the discotheque. Whenever I see that card. <laughs> Eight of Wands, wow, guys, this is nice. Career, general life for Taurus is May 13th, 19th, and we're getting the death card. And the Wheel of Fortune, wow, your cards are nice this week. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you to all of your wonderful higher selves for tuning in and giving me these messages. Um, these are lovely, beautiful guys. Really nice week. So let's um, get some clarifiers here. Clarify what is bringing up this Four of Swords reverse energy for my Tauruses this week. Again, it just feels like there's a real shift here. If you guys have been waiting for the push through, it feels like things are finally changing this week. So I know last week was hard. You might be feeling that. Um, at the beginning there. <sighs> Nave of Pentacles. Yeah, there was impatience. There was kind of probably feeling a little bit immature and not really knowing if what we're doing is the right thing here. So I feel like if you guys have been trying to make some business decisions, trying to figure out, you know, what we need to do to make more money, we felt really frustrated. We probably felt extremely lack this week. And if you guys want to know the truth, um, I am I have Aries Taurus, or the not English. I'm an Aries Taurus cusp, as you guys know. And I went to a concert this weekend, went to go see Slayer in their last concert, and it was awesome um, because, you know, this is their final tour, but I lost my debit card during it, and I was like, oh, of course, while I'm enjoying myself, that I had to go out in the middle of the concert and call and make sure it was canceled, and that was frustrating. I was like, because now I don't have any access to my money for a few days. <laughs> um, so maybe some of us here have been dealing with issues like that. Um, oh, as you can hear, there are frogs croaking in the background. 
I had to open the door because guys it is actually 95 degrees it was 100 degrees in my car at one point today so I'm dying um, anyways ten of cups here let's look at the ten of cups so yeah, again, there's impatience, there's frustration. We've been dealing with some delays and we're like, can we just move on past this? I am so ready to be done with this. I'm so ready for this whole thing to be clear here. So Ten of Cups, clarify the Ten of Cups there for my Tauruses. What's bringing up the Ten of Cups energy this week? My beautiful, lovely Tauruses. Ooh, Eight of Cups. Yeah, wow, so you guys have moved on here. When you see the Ten of Cups with the Eight of Cups, um bringing that in there if we have been in balance or not happy with what we've been doing we're seeking out more fulfillment with our career with our situation um we could also be experiencing a lot of communication from friends and people that we love a lot of fulfilling um communication and um times that we're having here honestly okay so let's clarify the because we have two eights here so we're definitely moving out we're moving on up here. We're making some big moves here. Um, and again, if you guys are actually moving or you've been thinking of moving, this could say, you know, you're looking for a much more fulfilling situation and you're able to do that this week. Like there's the eight of wands. There's two eights right in the center of your deck here, or the center of your read. And then we also have the death card. I mean, you have some, you have the, some two of the most amazing major arcanas, honestly, for change, for shifts. So let's see. Eight of wands. Clarify the Eight of Wands. What is bringing up the Eight of Wands? Or what is the Eight of Wands this week for my Tauruses? What is the Eight of Wands bringing up? Or about this week for my Tauruses? I really do feel like for some of you guys, you're making travel plans. Hmm, what's this? The Star. We could be hearing um, from an Aquarius. Or again... I don't know, guys. This is a really beautiful like little shift here. It feels like you have people that back you. And if you were um, worried about that here and you felt kind of alone and like, who's going to back me through this? All of a sudden, like all these people show up and they're like, we're going to help you. Or, you know, we support you. <laughs> we're going to get through this. We're going we're gonna to help you grow here. It's going to be okay. And that in turn really helps you be able to make some decisions here to push forward, to do what needs to be done with the Eight of Wands. Momentum towards your um, desired goal is really what I always see the Eight of Wands as. It's it's a really beautiful energy in terms of um, pushing forward, in terms of getting unstuck. So again, guys, if you felt stuck, delayed, frustrated, and I know a lot of you have because you guys are the group that also gets the most private readings from me. So I know that we've been dealing with some blockages here. But again, there's this motion, there's dynamic activity, there's dynamic transformation here, which I just, um, I mean, I just love it. It's beautiful. And with the Eight of Cups, again, we're evaluating something. We're moving forward. We're... Um, doing you know we're working towards again the stars here and the stars is you know getting to the light at the end of the tunnel um and again it could also be star power with the death and the stars here there is um aquarius you know and also scorpio energy but also there is this intense transformative energy you know we're transforming here we're having a death of some type you know we're no longer living in the past we're no longer living as we were we are transforming this week okay because we're like we want to we want fulfillment we want to you know we want whatever this thing that we're working towards is this star moment here this light at the end of the tunnel we want we, whatever we've been asking for the universe, there's transformation there, basically, is what I'm trying to say. A lot of dynamic, very quick transformation. Clarify death and what it is bringing in here. What is death bringing in for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus this week? Like, wow. Nine of Pentacles. There's a shift in money. Clarify the wheel. Tauruses, Ten of Swords. Um, and I always wanted to put it reversed, but I'm going to leave it like that because whether it's reversed or not, to me, it really talks about the ending of a painful cycle. So again, we could be taking those swords out and getting out of this, or we could be, again, seeing things change, yet also kind of being privy to what needs to end, you know, being aware of what needs to end here and dealing with it. Um, this is a really beautiful reading, in my opinion. We're ending some really, I think, and it's been coming up for you guys. I mean, it is your solar return, so I'm not surprised when we see the Ten of Swords when it is your season. Um, because again, you guys are all about karma. There's karmic endings. There's karmic stuff that we're working out here. We're finally moving forward on some things. We had to make maybe some karmic endings or, um, work through some crap that maybe we actually brought onto ourselves here. And we're realizing if we don't lighten our attitude, seek out more fulfillment and less, be less of being focused on the money and the frustration in terms of getting that and more about, you know, what drives us, what fulfills us. Um, cause that's really what's important here at the end of the day with your life and where you're living, you know, are we living the life we want? 
you know, forget about money, the material, all of that here, but are we happy? Are you doing something that you're passionate about, something that you enjoy doing? Um, you have people that back you. When you start to focus on that here and you're seeking out more fulfillment, you're going to see that people are coming right behind you and they're going to help you get to where you want to go. This is really, really beautiful. It's weird that I'm almost drawn to... I might actually pull... It's really weird. I'm kind of drawn to pull a Hermetic Tarot, honestly, for just... Let's just see what's going on with the center here. Just one more card of clarification with the Hermetic Tarot here for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So what's happening this week? This shift here. Where is the shift putting them? Where is the shift coming in and putting them this week? So my Taurus is... Clarify it. Clarify what's happening this week for them. Whoa. This is crazy. Um, King of Cups and Queen of Cups came out. So, wow. Um, <laughs> for some of you guys, you're meeting a significant love partner. A water sign is very significant. However, with the Queen of Cups and King of Cups, you know, we see a pair. We see a matching pair here. We see somebody that is, um, or, you know, whether they be a person or a job or a situation here, we're finally stepping into the right thing, but we have to follow our heart and our intuition. They're both intuitive. They're, um, again, focusing on the heart, focusing on our emotions, so when I see the king and queens come up as kind of what this week is about, it's making sure that our heart and, um, you know, our where our emotional body, our, you know, our spiritual body is aligned with our physical body and what we're doing, what we're trying to accomplish and create out here in the real world, especially if we're, because Taurus is you guys can get so focused on money and the material that we're ignoring all this other emotional stuff here, which is actually just as important. So there's a lot of really amazing shifting going on this week in terms of getting to where we've been trying to get to in terms of breakthroughs, um, seeing, you know, our fortune really change and seeing the end, some karmic endings here, you know, don't worry. Um, I'm sure it'll kick the door on the way out, but you know, it's still really, really nice here. So let's get a Stacey DeMarco Halloween Oracle for you guys for a message from spirit. As you can tell the sun is setting and it's getting darker here. <laughs> so let's see message from spirit advice from spirit what do my Tauruses need to know from their higher selves their spirit guides from mother earth this week what's coming out it's flying itself out trick or treat mischief and play i feel like this one either came out for you in your monthly or maybe it was last week but again guys do check out your monthly readings for me those are all up it's a beautiful sunset right now wow um i wish i could show you guys but it's actually the opposite side of where i'm facing um, let's see, trick or treat. <sighs> okay. Should you receive the trick or treat card in your divination, it may well be a time to examine the role of mischief in your own life. Um, you don't have to be a child to let go and have some playtime, and you can extend the fun to others. Sometimes we are afraid to make mistakes, and play is one way to alleviate the pressure that we sometimes place in ourselves to get everything perfect every time. Alternatively, it is worth knowing that there is a balance between manipulation and mischief. The former is not pleasant, and the other has, at its core, a sense of irreverent fun. I hope you guys can't hear that uh, cicada in the background. But again, it's really saying, um, dude, have some more fun with your life here, okay? Um, see how mischief and play can be worked into your work here. Again, fulfillment, happiness. Um, those are the things that you really want to focus on in terms of um, your your life right now. It's not, you know, beating yourself up so much and getting so intense about everything. Because we have to realize that if we don't enjoy life, we don't enjoy what we do and aren't fulfilled by it, then we're not going to find fulfillment in our bank accounts. And even if we do, it's not going to feel like anything. Let's move on to love now, guys. I'm actually kind of drawn to use my, oh my gosh, as I throw the whole deck, my... <laughs> My Game of Thrones deck for you guys. So we're gonna use the Game of Thrones deck for the love part of this reading. Make sure I, because I know I just hit this. Um, let me fix that here. Um, let me actually turn on this light. Oh, I guess it's out. So I guess not. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's see. Love and relationships for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And again, guys, if you want to book a private reading. All the information as well as my Twitter, my Instagram are all right below this video in the description box, okay? So just email me and um, the PayPal link is there so you can also send the payment if you want to book a reading. It's all right there, okay? And all the different types of readings that I do right in that description box. Because I think people often email me and they're like, where is that? I'm like, it's in the description box. 
But okay, Tauruses, love and relationships, love and romance. Ooh, six of swords. Some of us here are moving on, leaving the past behind here, taking the lessons, not the people. King of Cups, Knight of Spears, continue to show me love and relationships, love and romance for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus this week, Four of Swords, and Four of Spears, interesting. I think for some of you guys, you guys are getting to a much better place here, um, maybe even with a Twin Flame. Um, if we have been, in, if we are in a Twin Flame relationship, or we know that we have a Twin Flame here, they could be a water sign. They could be a Sagittarius. I'm getting more water sign, though, or, you know, have placements of Scorpio or Sag. But um, Four of Swords, Four of Spears, interesting. This is a very relaxed feeling here at the end of the week in terms of love. You might be chilling out. You might even be traveling with your lover here or planning on it. Um, interesting. Let's get a couple clarifiers, though, before I go any further here. Clarify the Six of Swords here at the beginning of the week. What is bringing up the Six of Swords for my... Taurus is in terms of love. Six of Swords, Magician Reverse. Some of us are leaving behind somebody who puts on a false mask. You know, a snake oil salesman, as I like to call the Magician Reverse. Somebody who um, shows up as one person, but is really not that person. They're putting on a false mask to try to, um, you know, delude you, to try to goad you into being in a relationship. They're saying they want one thing, but they don't actually want that. So clarify the King of Cups here. The Knight of Swords. Clarify the King of Cups for my Tauruses. Seven of Cups. We might be, be feeling confused about how we feel towards somebody. Or we might have confusion about the communication between us and maybe a Scorpio or a different water sign, like a Cancer or a Pisces. Um, or we might have confusion if, if we're not coupled. Or even if we are coupled, I'm getting for some of you mostly singles, that you guys are having some weirdness between a Sagittarius and a Scorpio, or you're trying to choose between them. Let me pause this, because the dogs are freaking out. All right, guys, and while they were barking, I found the light. Changed the light bulb there. <laughs> so now we have some light, because it's starting to get really dark out of nowhere. So clarify the Knight of Spears for Tauruses and love and relationships this week. We get Five of Cups. Interesting. So we're feeling confused, okay? We might be getting some stuck on some past situations here. We're stuck on, you know, what hasn't happened. Maybe some of us here thought that somebody wanted to... I'm getting for some of you that are coupled, you're like, okay, so is this person really what I think that they are? I've been with this person... Hold on one second. Oh, I thought she was done. Okay, I think she's done barking. <laughs> um, So we get a lot of confusion there with somebody oh hold on one second <laughs> okay i think she's finally done now <laughs> jesus guys i'm sorry hopefully we'll move soon <laughs> um anyways four of swords and four of spears let's see four of swords four of spears i'll clarify that the end we're going to talk about all of it Wow, this is interesting. Four of coins. Um, and I'm not really sure if I want to put them upright or reversed. So some of us here are holding on to something um, that maybe we're not 100% sure is going to give us what we want here. But it kind of feels, I don't know, with three fours, I don't feel bad about this kind of position here. Um, whether it's reversed or upright, we have the four of swords and the four of spears. So... We might be a little bit confused about whether to, I don't know, if you're in a relationship, I'm getting there's financial confusion here. You're like, in this period of, I think, where you're coming, you know, you and your partner or you or your partner are coming to a different position in terms of money and wealth, and you're kind of like, do I save this? Do I hold on to it? Or do we go for this whole situation here? Um, and I don't know why he's meowing. I'm sorry, guys. He just does that sometimes. He just walks around and yells. Um... Nobody wants us to be quiet during this reading. It's crazy, huh? Um, Robbie, relax. Um, okay, but let's talk about the Seven of Cups here. Let's talk about the center you're reading here because there is a desire to communicate, but there's confusion and almost pain around it. Maybe some of us here are wondering if we're on the same path as the person that we're with and if we um, are going to be headed in the right direction here. We're going to be, or are we being deceived even by ourselves? Hold on. 
gosh, guys, I don't know why. Every time I try to do a reading for you guys, it's like everything, everything goes wrong. Everybody interrupts me. I don't know why it happens. But um, Magician Reverse, Seven of Cups. There's confusion about whether, you know, leaving a situation, I think, is the right decision here. You might be leaving one situation or leaving behind lessons from the past here as we move towards um, somebody that we feel is giving us the whole story. Somebody, again, like a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer here that seems emotionally mature, emotionally capable. Somebody that we do have feelings for. Um, but there's still confusion here and we're wondering, is this the right path? Um, it feels like either somebody's pushed us towards this person or somebody's saying, oh, are you sure? Or, you know, maybe it's like this and maybe you shouldn't do that. I don't, there's a lot of confusion about, you know, what a relationship really is this week, what this person has to offer, um, and which cup right here is really the best decision. And I would say, let's get a card of advice for you guys. Um, I'm going to use my Hermetic Tarot again. Or actually... Ooh, no, I'm not. I'm going to use my Hobbit deck because I like using that with love. Let's get an advice card for you guys because there is confusion. There is this focus on the past that you guys get really stuck up on. I think some of you guys are like, why is this person back in my life? Maybe they, I should be with them or maybe I should be with this other person. You know, who really has something to offer here and who is the fake person? And whether we're in a relationship or not, I feel like we're confused about where a relationship is going, what it is, and what it really has to offer. So let's get some advice for you. Advice for my Taurus is in love this week. The sun. Um, just have a good time. Do what makes you happy is really what I get with always with the sun. Um, whenever I see the sun, also it's illuminate things. Let me get another one for advice here. Advice for my Taurus is for their love lives this week. Page of Swords. Um, interesting. That's an interesting card to have there. It's um very focused on clarity, but I mean it's you see Bilbo there trying to attack that spider for the Ark not for the Arkenstone, sorry, for the ring. Why did I say the Arkenstone? Um He sees clearly after that he what he did was probably, you know, maybe a little bit morally wrong and it kinda of messed him up and stuff. But again, it's People might say little things this week and that might help you be illuminated or again. Um, let me get another one. This is interesting. It's such a weird combination. <laughs> the Sun and the Page of Swords. I feel like, again, there's illumination of some truths, some understandings. You might have some downloads coming in. I always see that as. Um, interesting that you get the Nine of Wands there, too. Because the Nine of Wands is all about, you know, perseverance and boundaries and... Um, all that kind of funky jazz. So I think that that's a really strange thing to get here. But at the same time, it's not... They just give me very three very different feelings here. Um, but the Nine of Wands is, you know, we're feel we know what, need to know our feelings of vulnerability, our strengths. Um, from even our past. from um, And, you know, to how to persevere here. It's realizing, you know, where we've made mistakes, learning from them, moving on here. You know, we're having those things illuminated. And instead of beating yourself up and saying, okay, let's persevere, let's move on. Let's not get stuck in the past here. There is a vulnerability between, um, you know, sorry, there is, a <laughs> we need to achieve the balance between vulnerability and strength here. By being vulnerable, we're becoming strong. Sorry, I said that's super weird and backwards. I like confuse myself there. But um, through our own vulnerability, we're proving strength. So allow yourself to see and be seen this week. To allow your your inner self to shine out. Allow this, even if it's to yourself, just allow what needs to come out, come out, and allow it to be illuminated no matter what it is. It will push you forward whether we want to face it or not, okay? Don't be afraid to be vulnerable. So let's see. Um, let's pull a card from the Romance Angel deck here. One for singles, one for couples. Okay. I didn't expect this reading to get this long, especially because it's so hot out. All right, Taurus is. I mean, it is your season, so why not? <laughs> this week we also have that uh, full moon in Scorpio on the 18th. I, I almost didn't even talk about that, guys. And don't worry, we'll talk a lot about it in its own video. I'm gonna do the um, I'm gonna do a Scorpio full moon video for all the signs. We talk a lot about it, but again, it could be 
ramping up to be a very emotionally charged week. A lot about, you know, again, karmic endings, new beginnings, because Scorpio is your opposite sign. You guys both are the rulers um, of karma, in my opinion. Um, and through astrology, I always see you guys as being very much about karma. You and Scorpio have different relationships with it, but you guys deal with it in a way more straightforward, way more intense way than Leo and Aquarius. You kind of bounce around it and don't really understand it as well. Okay, so let's see. One for singles, one for couples. So again, there's a lot of great transformative energy this week as we come towards that playfulness. Nice. Um, and let's get one for couples, Taurus couples. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So again, make sure that you guys are making time for each other. If you find that finances, career, to focus on money, to focus on more and more and more becomes too much here. Focus on playfulness this week. Um, I just think in general, like, don't get so stuck up in your head. Things will work their way out as they're meant to when we are enjoying our time here when we're not stressing out and not overly focus on the things that honestly don't matter as much in the whole scheme of life, Okay. All right, um, Tauruses, thank you guys so, so much um, for all of your support. Um, those are your weekly messages. Um, I hope that they resonate well with you guys. I'll see. Um, do check out your monthly as well. That is up for May, obviously. Um, and if you guys haven't, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to book a private reading, again, all that information, along with my Twitter and Instagram, are all right below this video in the description box. Again, please make sure to share and subscribe. Um, it really does help, and I really do appreciate it. And thank you guys so, so much. Let me know in the comments below also um, if you guys are um, still about the monthlies. I've been noticing that the monthlies haven't been doing as well. Um, so I'm looking to change up some things. So let me know what kind of videos, what kind of content you guys want to see, okay? Um, love readings, spiritual readings, guidance, career. Um, I am doing that crystal series still, even though it's been taking a while. We had to work out a bunch of tech kinks, but we're just about there, guys. So keep an eye out for that. And um, have a wonderful and blessed week, guys. Thank you.